Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've done a painting video, but I thought I'd drop in here and do a painting video and add some of my uh, sound healing, Reiki infused sound bowl uh, music in behind while I'm painting. So sit back and relax. I am going to be doing wicker white and I am just doing an impromptu right now. I did not paint this in advance. Tea berry. And this one is Vivid Orange. All these are folk art paints. Hunter Green and Violet Pansy. Now the brushes I'm using, it's been so long I can't remember what the name of them are, but I'll put, put it down below so you can look at them. But a round brush, a flat brush, clay ball maker for the centers, and then a little round brush and it looks like this is a crystal it's the name of it so small it's hard for me to read but it's the number four and I'm going to begin so the first thing I'm going to do is create some leaves for my flowers with the round brush and I'm just dipping it into the paint and you know I generally like to start at the top I'm just pushing down and pulling pushing down and pulling towards the center of the flower like that and I'll do a few I like to work in threes so I'll do a few in this color with this brush and then I'll flip over to the purple and let's just spread them out down here hopefully you can see all these again I'm new at doing this again I'm not new at painting but new at doing these videos. I'm going to go ahead now, go through and dip some white on the tip of my brush. Just come back and just quickly go through, add some more paint to the bristles that I already painted. And this just gives it a little bit more thickness too, because some people will ask about these being durable and the thicker your paint is the more durable they will be and you can always come back in if you think you're like oh maybe I got more too much white sorry for my hands on the way here I am a lefty guys so this sometimes makes it more difficult to keep my hand out of the way but you can just keep going over them until you like the outcome you don't have to have a certain amount of coats or strokes or whatnot just do what you want it's the whole thing if you're new at painting I'm hoping that this will help you, I'm sorry help you feel comfortable giving it a try I'm dipping my flat brush into the purple color and then I'll just come with some very quick little strokes pushing the brush down and pulling it towards the center pushing the brush down pulling it towards the center you can make them as big or little as you want, have as many petals as you want. And on this one, I probably will add a fourth one in here just to kind of balance it out. And to me, it doesn't matter if you start at the top, bottom, whatever, it's up to you. Just putting a little of paint on the ends again, just like I did on this other flower. But back to my, what I was stating here, the thicker your paint is when you're painting on your item, the more durable it will be. So when you're asking if it'll wash off, this kind of a thing, it's, it doesn't really matter to, as much as if it, you're doing drinking glasses, because obviously people are gonna be handling them. So you want them to be durable not to melt off in their hands as they're holding the glass, which I have had people say that before with when they've tried to just use regular acrylic paint, it's not gloss paint. So keep that in mind, you know, you really should have something that either has an additive for glass or that you're actually uh, 
using gloss paint or paint that's made for multi surfaces. Now I'm using the thicker end or the bigger end for the ball, my clay ball maker. And as I've done in the past, I'll just come in here, pounce into the center. I do not care if it pulls up any color from beneath, that's fine. And I don't really care how big the center is. Now if you want to tap and make, maybe you want to come back in here and make the center bigger so it looks more like the petals are all attaching to the center, that's fine. If it doesn't matter to you, and I'm just not, I'm not real particular about, you know, being precise. And then I'm going to take the smaller brush, dip it into the green, get it nice and coated, and I'm going to just come through here and lightly put in the stem. Just kind of make it like it's attached, you know, all the flowers are attaching to it. You can have single stems or you can have multi stems, it's up to you. And I might just come through here, put a little bit of white so it stands out a little bit more, or you can use another color along with it. It's up to you. If you want to do some little petals, you can do them. Um, just pushing your brush down, maybe even adding some of these other colors to it. Dip it into the orange if you want to add some orange. You can do a little stem to them if you want to make them look like they're attached. And that's up to you. I just like to do it really freely. And you can change the way it looks just by how you Put the pressure on the brush. And just have fun with it. Just relax. Don't try to make it too difficult because it doesn't need to be. You know, I'm pushing down, just kind of pulling it, lifting up, pushing down. So I'm making bigger leaves. That's why I say it just depends on how the pressure you're placing on your brush and how it turns out. Now, if you want to take your brush and just make some swirlies, you can do that. either. Just be light touches. It's up to you. Up to you. It's your artwork so you make it how you want it to be. And always remember petals don't have to be green whatever your color you want them to be as well. All right, and there you have it. Easy peasy, just takes a few minutes to do and you've got a pretty design. There you have it. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button so you get notified whenever I do a video. Keeping in mind too, my painting videos are gonna be few and far between because I am into more of the meditation, sound healing type uh, modalities right now. But I hope you enjoy this. Hope you're doing well. And until the next time, you have a good one.